You were an early supporter of Donald Trump. How's he doing? I met someone on the plane flying to, to, to make this appointment with you. A friend of mine is conservative, a woman, uh, actress, very good one. And I said, so what do you think about our man? And she just did this. That wasn't, that's, that's me crying. <laughs> it was her, too. Why are you crying? Saying, because. It's so, first, first of all, the gesture was so beautiful. She couldn't even speak. She was just saying, thank God. And I say, thank God. And one of the reasons why I can say thank God is because I, I, I know he's there, you know, for us all. God. And that's one of the things that we've lost is this compass of God. We have... What did Karl Marx come up with? He eliminated God from the picture. So we can do it without this. Mm -hmm. Not these boys, not our guys. You know, they knew very well. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by our creator, that we are endowed with certain inalienable rights, and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And by the way, one of the things that I know you know the genius of the architecture of our founding, this constitution, where it came from, a Bill of Rights and a Declaration. I'm lost in the thought of you being the one that I'm sitting in front of now. No, no, no. You understand yeah. this the genius of them to say the pursuit of happiness. Because if you go into a communist country, as I did, in 1991, I went to Moscow to make a little film, first time. It was during Glasnost, Perestroika being the time that they were changing things, of more openness, you know, and all of this stuff. So I was there. And what did I see? I said, people with their heads down would not look you in the eye. In the hotel, nothing worked. You go to the desk to ask for something, a light bulb changed. They wouldn't look at you, pretended they didn't speak English, all of this. And these people, deep unhappiness, they had no possibility to pursue happiness. And that's the difference. That's what, that's what socialism, communism, progressive, that's what it means. You don't have the ability to pursue happiness. You can't raise yourself in, in, up above anyone else. As soon as you get more than the next guy, slap down. So no matter how hard you work, you can't improve the lot for your children. It, it's, they're unhappy. Their buildings are unhappy. There's nothing happy about their societies. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's a mark. And that's the genius of our... This happiness is a big thing. Anyway. I have never heard it put that way.